YouTube, what's up, man? We are closing on 40,000 subs. We are right there. So if you're not subbed to the channel, please hit the sub, please. Forty K is a big goal of mine. I want to hit it before Madden 24, but maybe want to hit 50 K before Madden 24. Whatever it is, hit that subscribe button, like the videos, all that. This is the team I'm rocking right now. It changes periodically, but this is what I got on the God Squad best lineup in Madden. What I think is the best. What I like to do. Let's go ahead and check it out. Boom. There's the offense. I see a lot of zero freezing chill, a lot of zero chills, a lot of all that chilling, freezing, zero Christmas crap that you guys love. Oh, my God. Market, market, promo, promo. I don't really care about that. What car is going to play the best? That's what matters on my field. You guys see it. Offensive line is easy right now. We got Creed Humphrey because he has free identifier. We got Quentin Nelson because he has free all day. We got Joe Thomas because he has edge protector and threat detector for 2 AP. As protector, threat detector, sounds good. Hard to say twice real fast. I can do it. Can you? Anthony Munoz at right tackle with secure protector for one AP. That means we only have three AP on the O-line. It will pretty much be like that all year until somebody can, becomes a free secure protector, which will happen eventually the way they're going. Boys, Taysom Hill is still the tight end. I heard Kittle is coming out. He might take his spot, but Kittle, but uh, Taysom Hill with that zero AP short and elite short and elite is the is the ability you need to beat man coverage whether you're in bunch you're in tight whether you're in uh, trips tight end short in as long as they're close to the middle of the field they will fry that's also why i have cd lamb who i would tell you is probably the best receiver in the game right now zero ap short and elite is actually insane and i have herman moore plexigo burris i each pay one ap for their short end but they are huge monsters fastest in the game i believe they're both 96 speed Keith Byers, you guys know, Eagle Legend. This guy, the ball bounces off his head. If you guys have been watching this channel, you see I lost my tournament game because the ball bounced off his big head. And I don't know. I don't know if it's because he's so huge. Pause, pause, pause. But he does have a hard time catching the ball every once in a while. But I feel like that happens to everybody. John Elway, still the best quarterback in the game. He will be the best quarterback in the game until one. They release a quarterback with Slinger 1, that release, that fast release, you know, all that good stuff. But his AP is just still... He, there are some quarterbacks with better AP now. There's some that compete. People are using the Brady. I've seen people use Rodgers. Fearless to me, still a must. I mean, you want to control as much RNG as you can in the game. And Fearless works. You will not get it inaccurate. That's why I love it. So... Got to have Fearless, even if people don't have under pressures. You see people are going away from under pressures, but it still will stop the, the pressure and accuracy that you get without under pressure ability. So, hot route master, set feet lead. The only way Elway will be passed if they put out a quarterback with this ability set for like 5 AP, even then with his release. And he, he's not the fastest, but 81 speed, he's still mobile. He really is. I think he's going to be the quarterback until we get golden tickets and people make a golden ticket the right way. But that's my offense now. I've been running the New Orleans Saints playbook. Link is below for the ebook, manturf.com. Here we go. This is the defense. Now, you guys know if you have been watching, I man blitz every single play. I don't make the game, I just play the game. If that's the meta, we're going to rock it. I'm sorry if you guys are in your feelings. Man, coverage is too good. Blitzing is too. Well, maybe this game's not for you, man. Minecraft, you can do whatever you want. You can build a little house, you can build a little pool, whatever you want to do in Minecraft. So if Madden's not for you, if you don't like man blitzing, if you don't like the meta, then maybe this is not for you. And that's okay. There's tons of other video games to play. Me, I play Madden. I don't make Madden. Don't complain to me about the game. But what I like to do is win it, Madden, as best I can. So I'm going to do the meta. Most effective tactics available. And for me, I think it's man coverage. Do I think it's good now? I really don't even think it's OP. I just think it's a little bit better than zone. And what's good about this game is the glitch blitzing. Half the glitch blitz. If you're not trying to glitch blitz, get after the quarterback, then you're just going to lose. It's just you're just not doing the best ability you can. So I like to run man coverage because I feel like this is one of my philosophies, and I'll tell you guys this right now. Serious philosophy right here, right? I like to be able to run both defenses, man and zone, hybrid of one or the other, right? Now, if you have zone, if you build up your team with zone abilities, right? Okay, that's going to be great in zone. But you have no ability to play man coverage. You have no inside shade. You have no knockouts. You have nothing that can help your man coverage. But if you build your team for man coverage, now you can go play zone. Now, you won't have zone knockouts, but your zone is going to be the same effectiveness whether you have abilities or not. So that's why I like to build my team for man coverage. That way, if I need to say, uh-oh, I need to play cover four, I still have the ability to do that because I still have high overall players with great zone coverage. Now, they won't have knockouts, but they'll still have good enough abilities and good enough awareness to be able to play zone. 
Vice versa, you're not putting zone players like Sherman and Calvin and Peppers and Hendricks. You're not putting them in man coverage as effectively. So that's why I like to build my team for man coverage, then also be able to hop into zone. So I feel that way. You can play zone with man guys, but you can't play man with zone guys. So I build my team like this. Mike Haynes plays safety. I run spinner out of dollar 98% of the time. So my safeties will be manned up. Both Mike Haynes and Antonio Cromartie have inside shade which i always call one step ahead but it's inside shade pick artists and medium knockouts to be able to knock out the uh corner routes the post the slants anything 10 to 20 yards they'll knock out uh and those are my best man coverage guys i will tell you cromarty is way better than haynes haynes cost two million coins and i almost want them back but he, he saved so much ap that he's worth having on the outside i have rod woodson and denzel ward why because they get pick artists for free and they get deep knockout for one. So they'll be able to guard streaks. They'll be able to guard deep C routes, not guard them, but knock them out. And that's, that's pretty much what man coverage is this year. Not guarding stuff, knocking it out. So those are my outside guys that are always in man coverage most of the time. I use Night Train Lane and Ty Law in the slot. They're all interchangeable. Once you get, as long as you have zero AP pick artists, you can play on my field. On the D line, I like to use Lawrence Taylor, who I like Lawrence Taylor, Warren Sapp, Jadavion Clowney. Clowney's not worth it. Don't know. Don't. Warren Sapp is the best. He never drops those tip picks. He never drops picks in the pocket. When the ball bounces up, he's at, he just catches it all the time. Lawrence Taylor has free pick artists, so he always want to catch the ball. That's why we put him there. Linebackers, we got Julius Peppers, and we got Bo Jackson. It's my user linebackers right there. There it is. That's the team. Love it. That's what I got. Will it change tomorrow with the new Team of the Week cards? I don't know. I'm not a promo expert. I don't care. I'll see what card is good. Add it to the team. Give it a tryout, and we'll see how it goes. All that matters in this game. You guys got to get it through your head. Abilities, abilities, abilities. That's it. Height and speed is cool, but if you come out with free abilities, you're going to play. Speaking of play, check out this game. A Frosty. Holy f I don't know what route that was, bro. That was the best. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm telling you. Anybody tells you man coverage is good, just put my Twitch below their name. Seriously, just put my Twitch before below their name. Anybody complains about man coverage, dude. Inside shade is okay. I want to say it's good. I mean, good is like strong. Strong, you know. I don't like him on that guy. Deep knockout, and yeah. I wish I was like the one thing I just don't like throwing is that damn corner route. I swear to God, I can't win on a damn C route to save my life. I will tell you that. I can't lie, somebody just trucked it. Oh, somebody. Man coverage here, man coverage. I tried that. Shaded down. That was risky. High ball that he beat the shit out of him, but he was so he beat him so bad pause that he was like underneath the route. Yeah, I've high balled it out for sure, but that was a good drive, though. I played a good drive there. That's a screamer. Thank you. When in doubt, just keep blitzing them, boys. When in doubt, glitch blitz away. Uh, predictions wild card. Uh, the Cowboys lose by 30. Agree or disagree, chat. Oh, y'all agree? Y'all know, know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all understand? Oh, 
like uh, I feel like I gotta press but I don't gotta press at the same time like dog come on oh that's gotta oh come on hands like are you kidding me god my sh I can't be the throw right there man I mean what a block at the last second right there Haynes is trash dude I'm be real that dude is trash AP keeps him on the team but that dude I swear to god he's trash I just gotta be picked off two bodies don't click on two bodies don't click on it was just such an easy pick but when there's more than one person, don't click on. I, if, if you learn anything from me in your life, more than two bodies, don't click. More than one, don't click on. Good tackle. I know that though. It's just like it's like such an easy pick or such an easy like such a bad pass. I'm like that should be a pick. I want to pick here. You know he's switching defense. When it's one person, I feel like you gotta click on. I don't know. I feel like they do a good job. The only one, the only when they dumb out and they only dumb out around between like 15 and 20 yards. Man, are we kidding right now? Come on. Man. I'm telling you, the ag defense is good. All right, this is back to man coverage. Dude, I really feel like you can just bomb this shit, I swear to God. He just got deep knockout on these guys, so it makes it impossible, but we get a decent release, we just gotta try, right? That's how you stack the, stack the DB right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Y'all saw a little body bump? Come on, dude. I got so much stick. It's, the user that I have as a 35-year-old man is actually absurd. I'm telling you guys, we don't get to the fourth quarter in this game. We might not get to halftime. Well, when people baseline their dollar, which I ran baseline dollar a long time, I still, I ran it a lot, baseline dollar. When they don't touch their safeties, they get ran by in, in, in spinner. Does he have short end on that guy? Not even. But the one thing that saves it is he has deep knockout on both of them guys. He's just trying to get a man bump, man bump touchdown here. There's no way, like, like he had, he's tried it twice and he hasn't got it. If God wants him to get, look at these guys who are just so inside each other, I can't even do nothing about it. I hate this. I just hate this. Sh I honestly like, I like, I like Rob Woodson and Ty Law are literally just a clone inside each other. I can't even like, I can't even move these these human beings, dude. It's just that nasty. Uh oh, look out! Bunch, 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 bunch. Oh my god, dude, what are you? Mine. Oh! Mm. Put the ball on the ground. Pick. Oh my god, dude. I'm pressing. I've seen enough. Dudes are getting pressed. We got five people running at the quarterback. Five people running at the quarterback, and we, we can't get. We we gotta press. We gotta press. Part of me feels like he's playing spinner. That's why he didn't. He might be playing spinner, but I just feel like he doesn't blitz here. It's a great call by me. See, like, I want to, like, does this guy have deep knockout? No, so we could actually do like this. And... Caught. Let's go, baby. The one thing about knockouts is they don't work if you're in the air. If they touch you when you're in the air, it won't get knocked out. So see how he, like, got knocked out? He, he got a knockout animation while I was in the air? Won't work the same. Yeah, I mean, the motion block, he did enough, though. He slowed it down. The problem, and I know this, that when I motion block with that receiver, then who's ever manned up on that receiver will then double team the guy I threw to. So the guy I threw to was actually double teamed, but I had faith that he would beat both of them. And he had a little step. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad juke. I mean, I want to put like I would I would 100% be on a conservative. Like if this was like the tournament, I'd be on conservative right now. But I'm here for the highlights, boys. Why do you watch? What do you want to watch? Me just running the tacklers? Hell no. God, bro, like why are we bumping into right there? Oh yeah, big slide right there by my man. Let's go, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. CD, you tell you told tap here. Oh, you're a lord, CD. Oh, you're a lord. God, I hate how good he is. Oh my goodness, Marty, you gotta figure it out. I don't know what you've been doing. It. Ooh. Make fumbles great. Make the hit stick great. Make the hit stick mean something. See, when he starts doing a lot of hot routes, I feel like he's not going to throw to the running back. So I, then that's when I take the man off. It. Bro, we will pick one of these off, I swear. I promise. So I feel like this is how I think on defense. Like, the, the running back quick pass, that's a quick snap play. So, like, you come out here and you man him up early, right? And the more hot routes he does, the more likely he's going to man up the... Oh, he just audible that. I saw that. <clears throat> Make the hit stick great again, dude. And when they start doing that blocking, you just start blitzing that guy, too. Send an extra dude, you know. Deep knockout. Thank you. Yep. Just keep that guy on the running back. Here's your hurdle. Oh! GG's. When I know what's going to happen in the Madden game, don't question me, boys. Did I say we would make it to the fourth quarter? Didn't I tell you guys that game would not make it to the fourth quarter? Just telling you. I know how a game is. I know how the game is happening. I know what's going on in the game. You know, I know. I catch the vibe of the game. I see what's going, what's working and what's not.